Hi everyone, welcome to Design School MC. In this video, I will create vintage logo design. Okay, first I will uh, select Start Tool, click here, and change the point to uh, maybe 35, and the radius change to yeah 25, and the radius 2 is 50. Click OK. Uh, maybe I need to edit the radius one. Change to uh, 45. Click OK. All right. Change the size like this. <coughs> and change the color using brown color. Scroll over here. This is my color code and click OK. And go to effect. Select uh, styles. And select rounded corners. And change the radius, maybe 20. Click preview. Click OK. I think that looks good. And select ellipse tool to create circle object. And put this circle on the center. Change the size a little bit bigger, maybe like that. Click this point, scroll down. Put this circle on the center. Okay, like this, and change the color, uh, maybe using white color, click OK, and duplicate this circle, go to edit, select copy, edit, paste in front, and change the size a little bit small, maybe like this, click this point, and going up, okay, and change the color using brown color, like this shape, select this shape, and double click on the fill, where I click on this code, click copy, select this small circle, double click on the fill, where I click on this dialog box, click bits, click OK. Alright, and select a rectangle tool over here, or you can press M on your key, and create object like this. OK, like this. Um, maybe I need to edit this position. Put on the center. I will looking for the center. A little bit down. Okay, maybe like that. And change the color using white color. Scroll on the white. Click OK. And create object like this. Uh, maybe create box object using rectangle tool. Create box ob box object. And change the color using um, brown color. I has uh, copy this brown color. Put the over here. Change the size a little bit bigger. And select the pen tool over here. Click here. Click on the center over here. And click this point and close this point. And select this box object. Go to Perfinder and click minus one to cut the box object. And um, select the pencil over here. Click this point. Click here. Click here and close this point. And combine this object. Go to Perfinder and click unit to combine this object. And go to uh, rectangle tool. Create um, object like this. Small line. Select this object, right click and select group. Okay. And put this object over here. Maybe a little bit going up. Okay, like that. And duplicate this object. Go to edit, select copy, edit, paste in front. And select this point. And scroll like this. Okay, and put this over here. Alright, um, I will create text, maybe uh, vintage design, change the size to bigger, maybe like that, and put this text over here on the top, eh, on the center, maybe I will remove this design, 
so just the vintage put on the center change the size a little bit bigger put on the center maybe a little bit here and change the font style to another font you can looking for your pet's font for this text just uh, click here and scroll like that you can looking for a uh, very much font style over here or you can click here go down or you can go up you can press your key on your uh, press down on your key Okay, I think this one looks good. Um, maybe I will put this over here. Okay, that looks good. And I will change this uh, object a little bit small. Maybe like this. And select this object and put it over here. Okay, scroll over here and put this object over here. And click this both object and um, put on the top a little bit on the top like that okay and change the vintage this text using brown color I will copy this color double click on the field right click on this dialog box click copy select this text and double click on the field over here right click on this dialog box click page click ok alright and I will create text over here too um, I will duplicate this text go to edit select copy edit bits in front and put this text over here on the top change the size a little bit small and double click over here and block Control E on your key and uh, maybe I need to change the color using white color so I can see my text okay um, maybe tutorial change the size a little bit small okay like that and put over here okay like that and um, maybe I will put this a little bit down maybe over here and I will create a star object click start tool click here maybe this point is 5 I'm using the radius 1 is 45 and the radius 2 is 50 and click OK uh, maybe I need to edit the radius 1 this is 25 click OK and change the color using brown color double click on the field and right click on the dialog box click bits uh, maybe I need to copy this color code copy select this star double click on the wheel right click and click page click OK I need to change the rotation like this to make this star looks good uh, and I will change the size a little bit small maybe like that and put it over here Maybe I need to change the color using white color because uh, the background is brown. And duplicate this small star and put over here. Okay, I think that looks much better. Um, maybe I will uh, create a line over here and I will put this tutorial a little bit down over here select rectangle tool to create line click here and scroll like that okay and put on the center a little bit down and duplicate the star go to edit select copy edit page in front put on the top over here and the So the tutorial vintage
okay like this <coughs> maybe I need to group this object a little bit going up and right click select group okay I think that looks much better and I need to create text uh, over here select this printed go to edit select copy edit page in front I have to duplicate this printed and put this vintage over here and double click on the fill and change to white color click ok and double click on this text and you can press ctrl e to block this text and change the text uh, maybe adobe, adobe illustrator and change the size to small maybe like that and put over here okay and uh, maybe i need to copy this star object i will ungroup this uh, my group and select this star go to edit select copy edit page in front and put over here Maybe I will change the size of this Adobe Illustrator a little bit small. Click this point and scroll like that. Okay, and put a little bit down, maybe over here. Maybe a little bit down. Maybe a little bit down like that. Okay, I think that looks good. And select this star object and this text. Uh, and right click you can select group to combine this object because uh, I need to combine this object so I can move this object just one click okay this is very simple and I will put this text and this star object a little bit going up maybe like that okay guys now I will create new text select type tool and click here and 100% okay like that and I will change the size a little bit bigger like that and I will put over here this is just example so you can uh, using your idea to create this vintage uh, design it looks much better than this okay uh, I will change this 100% to white color click OK okay like that okay guys I hope this tutorial is done and I hope you learned something in this video and if you are happy with my video tutorial don't forget to click like share and subscribe my youtube channel to get new video tutorial every time I update new video and if you have a question you can leave a comment below in my youtube channel and you can go to my youtube channel in design school MC don't forget in design school MC you can type this keyword design school MC in youtube search and you can Go to my YouTube channel and watch more video tutorial and see you on the next video.